Did you miss the one thousand dollar Atos airdrop that cost zero dollars to do? Well, you are at the right video because you're about to witness another one thousand dollar airdrops with zero dollar cost. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the Shadium testnet airdrop that will be launching this year. The way you can actually learn more around me for doing this is by liking this video turning up the notification button and subscribing to this channel okay so let's begin the shadow airdrop is an evm layer one based blockchain and in this video you'll be needing three things to run the airdrop the first one is the discord account which you'll be claiming your testnet shadow tokens the second one is your twitter account or your x account while the third one is the metamax wallet okay once you have these three things then you are good to go away you can actually learn more subscribe to this channel and actually get more videos is by turning on the notification button so let's begin okay guys so this is how to do the shadow airdrop so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your metamax wallet is ready so you want to add the network to your metamax for me i've already added my but let me show you how you can do this go to chainlist.org on your device well when you go to go you get chainlist.org then you, you mark you you see this include test date make sure you mark it the way you mark it make sure you click on connect wallets right click on connect wallets so when you click on connect wallet it will ask you to connect any wallet any network make sure your metamask is already installed on your browser. now i've already connected my wallet I can see here it right, include test net. So what you want to do is you want to search for Shadio. You want to search for search Shadio. So this is this is Shadio for the one you are to add. You can see all this one right. So now for this Shadio, right? For this Shadio, you want to make sure you have the Shadio dApps network now let me show you for my own right when you go to your metamask this is the one that we are to use right here this is one we are to use right here okay shadium dabs 1.x this one you are to using that is shadium for the dabs right so what you want to do is you can either get it here or in case your device is not showing it, you can go to Google and add and, and make this Google search there. Add Shadium that X one X to make a mask. So I'll provide the link in the description below on how you can add it. It is very, very easy to add to your MetaMask. I'll provide the description below. Shadium Downs, Fin X, right? You can see this Google search, right? So, here is it. So I'll provide the link. When you get to the link, you will you just be asked to connect to the casino, connect to Validator Wallet. When you click on it, to ask you for a pop-up and the wallet to be added. You can see this one, right? So it's the same thing. I see it's just click on add wallet. So you don't have to write anything, just click on add wallet or you are good to go. Then you can also click on co connect to that network. So this is very, very important. For me, the reason I'm not clicking on it now is because I'm already connected to it. So for yours, you be asked to come. So once you are connected to it, second thing you want to do is you want to go to your Discord. You know, Discord account is very, very important. You want to go to your Discord to get the false set token, right? Now can just go to Discord. You can just search for. Let me log in my Discord here. So what I want, what I want to do now is I want to copy the address, right? I want to copy the address. So, so you want to make sure you copy your your Shadium address after you've added the network. Then you click on Open Discord. So make sure if your if your Discord is already logged in, just go to the Discord app, right? So you look for you you I will, you have to join their tell uh, their Discord community. So when you, when you join the Discord community, you ask for verification. It is very, very easy to do that, right? You ask to verify. Now, when you get to Discord community, this is the Discord community, you scroll down. You click on Fawcett, Validator Fawcett 1.5. Validator Fawcett 1.5. So when you click on this, now you can see that 
This is a boot sending SHM, that is the Shadium token, to the wallet. So just click on forward slash, you can see this one, forward slash, false sets. So you can see this one, false slash, false sets. So you click on it, you can see that this one, there's address here. So just paste the address that you've already copied. Make sure your Metamask wallet, your Metamask Shadium wallet address is copied. Then you send the message. So you can see that the boots now said, funds have been transferred to my wallet. This is my wallet, this message, right? So when you now go back to your, you can just wait like one minute, then you go back to your MetaMask and this balance will increase, to change, right? It's take a few minutes for it to appear. Now that you have the SHM token, next you want to do now is you want to interact with project built under Shadion. You want to interact, like you're interacting with the blockchain. So you want to interact with the project built under Shadow. Now I'm going to provide the link in the description below. So the first project you want to interact with is icecream.icecreamswap.com, right? So when you go to icecreamswap.com, I'll provide the link. You make sure the network, you can see now, at this right top corner, you can see that there are a lot of, there are, a lot of, there are so many network here, right? You want to make sure that your network is, at, is set at Shadow and then you connect wallets. Let me just connect this for so my own is set as Shadium. You click on connect wallet, then you click on the MetaMax wallet. Automatically, it will give you a pop up and you will be able to connect. Once you've connected, your balance will show up. For instance, our own balance. So the way you are swapping on Pancake Swap or other popular decks is the same thing. You are just you want to interact with this platform, with this blockchain, all the platforms that are built under this blockchain for you to create transaction accounts, right? So for this one, you can just, let's, let's swap like five. So if I'm swapping five SHM to ICE, let me click on swap. Then it will, it will bring me a pop-up to my, to my, can see now this is a pop-up. So it asks me to confirm. So when I, I'll just click on confirm. The transaction is currently pending, right? So, now you can see now, the transaction has been submitted. That is, you can repeat this process over and over and again. You can swap more. So if I want to check this on my, if I want to check this transaction, I can easily check it on the DAPS, right? So I can easily check it on the DAPS. Okay, I think this transaction was filled. So let's try again. Let's try again. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you are swapping from one currency to another. So let's pick another currency. Let's pick USDT. Right? Let's pick USD. So let's swap from let's swap 5.4.5. Then confirm. Then I'll confirm this. So once I confirm this, transaction will be sent to the blockchain. So the second trans the second DAPS will be interacting with is the swapped finance, right? It is the swapped finance. So I'll be going now, I'll, I can open another tab, swapped finance. I'll provide the link in the description below. So this is swapped finance. You also want to swap from one token to another, right? So I'm interacting with three decks here. Swap finance, ice cream, I'll interact with the third one. So for this one, you make sure your wallet is connected. For my own, my wallet is already connected and here's my balance, right? So you can just swap any amount of token you want to swap. For this one, I can just swap like 15. Now let me swap 10. So swapping 10, I'll wait for it to bring out the price, right? So you click on swap, you confirm swap. The pop-up will come up to your MetaMask wallet or your, or your, or your device and you confirm it. This is it confirmed. Now the transaction has been sent to the blockchain. So I want to swap again. So another thing that I will, I will want to do now, apart from my swapping, is creating liquidity pool. So I want to create liquidity between SHM. You know, we are trying to use it as a real organic user. So I'm creating liquidity between SHM and swap finance token. So this is pull, this this airdrop is positioning for two edge which is the swap finance airdrop and the shadium airdrop, which is the major one, right? So 
let's let's add liquidity. So I'm adding for SHM. This is the equivalence in SPW, right? So I'll click on approve. Click on approve SPW, and I'll confirm it. Casino. Now I have just approved it. So after the approval, it will give me a pop up to add the liquidity. Then the liquidity will be added, right? Now you can see now approved swap finance is already successful. So I'm waiting for this UI. So we're looking at transaction on the on the scan. I'm going to provide this link where you can be able to scan your addresses, right? We're going to look at it. This is it. This is so you can see that this transaction is already approved and it is a success, right? Now let's proceed. So now that I've approved, I'm waiting for this UI. This UI is going to change very soon, okay? Okay, I'm waiting for it to bring it out so I can able to add the liquidity. Okay, now I think I've already, okay. So I'm waiting for it to, to bring out the UI so I can add liquidity, right? So I'll provide this link. Now this link is where you'll be able to check the number of transactions you've had on the Shadion blockchain. For me now, I already have 15. I will suggest you increase your transaction count to 50 and make sure that the transactions are not done in just one day. You want to make sure you interact like a real and organic user. You interact like you are there for the airdrop, please, right? So, Let's try and let's try and let's try another pair of token. Let's try USDC and SHM. Okay, let me approve USDC. Okay, after approving USDC, you know, confirm it. Very good. Now the transaction is being pending. Now the transaction has pended successfully. Now you can now see confirm adding liquidity. So add liquidity from SHM to USDC. Then you confirm supply. So when you confirm supply, so you are doing two things here. You are swapping and you are providing liquidity. You can also try other things by interacting with the shared job ecosystem. I'm going to provide the link in the description below, right? Very good. So now I've confirmed the supply. I'm waiting for you to successfully confirm it. Now, very good. You can all see. I've confirmed the supply. I'm waiting for the UI to actually change it. Okay. Very good. So I've added the transaction and it's submitted. Now, I have provided liquidity. So the third, the third dApps we've been interacting with is the chain ash. So you want to make sure you interact with chain ash is the best aggregator in, on the Shadium blockchain. You want to make sure that you interact with these blockchain projects over and over again. So I'm interacting with you. I'll provide other blockchain you can, other projects you can actually interact with on the Shadium blockchain, right? So for this one, you can swap so what you want to do first is you want to make sure you, you switch network. You want to make so when you click on you can see this BNB, click on it, you click on DAPS test net. So you click on DAPS test net, share them DAPS there, and you connect the wallet. Mine is quite is already connected, right? So we want to swap from one token to another. Let's swap from SHM to let's say um USDT, right? Let's swap from this. So let's swap 10. And so 10 SHA will give me 0 0.177 USDT. So I'll submit the transaction. So when I submit the transaction, that is it. I have just interacted with the Shadium. So please, I will, I will, I will, my advice is make sure you interact with this project over and over again. This process, make sure you repeat it every three or four four days to actually make you consistent with the blockchain and have increased transaction counts, right? Okay, this is swap error. You can also retry it. There are times that 
it will be bringing out error and error. So if it's bringing out error and error, what you want to do is you want to click on your MetaMask. When you click on your MetaMask, click on your MetaMask wallet. In case it is showing error, you know, it's still in the testnet mode. So things can be failing, right? So what you want to do is you want to click on these three dots. Click on setting, click on advanced, and clear activity tab data. Click on this, then you clear it. So after clearing it, you'll be asked to connect your wallet again. Connect wallet again. Now the wallet is connected, then you can now swap again. So let's swap again. Okay, so this is it. Now this has been connected and confirmed. And so this is just how to interact with the Shadium blockchain. Please make sure you subscribe and like for more videos like this. This is very, very important. So you don't miss videos like this because this is a chance of success. So I showed you how to clear errors. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. And of course, if you want to join my community, it is on Telegram. You can easily check this. I'll provide the link to my community on Telegram. So make sure you join and you're welcome. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.